Hello, 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 everybody. We are back. This show is called the TBR SF Show, which simply means the Big R Solution Sports Forum. It's myself, the Sobri Bogos, Wali Fatsi, and then uh, I was supposed to be joined by Saddam and other guys. But unfortunately, we have a rain this morning, not only rain, uh, they are all struggling with network. So, but uh, we can't stop. We should not a bit. The beat goes on. We need to continue the show. Uh, this morning, I want us to discuss a very um, serious matter. Uh, I'm sure we all saw that we are lost. We lost, I mean, we played 2-2, two -two, which is a loss, 2-2 two -two at home, all right? It's a loss, one point, and we have been qualified for many years now, all right? Now, but the issue that I want us to discuss is the behavior of the coach. One. Secondly, the other thing that I want us to discuss, is it the right time now for Safa to recall Peter Musimane to come and coach the squad? All right. Uh, we know that Peter was there. We know that Peter gave his opinion what happened between himself and Safa. All right. If I remember quite well, Peter said he decided to play the five big teams in Africa. All right, in friendly, and then he lost against them, and that was the reason, according to him, why he was shown the door. All right, now one of the issues that really bothers me, if you look all the nations, you know, starting with Argentina, the number one country now in the world football, in terms of the World Cup, not in terms of the ranking. Uh, they won the one cup using their own local coaches coach local boy technical staff local local guys you go to all leading nation germany they use the locals all right not only uh, germany you go to brazil they use the locals all right you go to england they use the locals i mean coach is a, is a local guy all right and then what is it? What is it that we don't want to use our own home ground? And then here in Africa, Senegal, they are using their own local. And we saw, we saw what they did. They won the Afcon. Not only that, we saw what uh, Morocco did with their local uh, coach. All right. How far did they go? The first team to go up to the semi final of the World Cup. That has never happened an African team to go to that level. We've seen uh, Morocco, um, a Cameroon, you know, Samuel Eto has appointed a local guy, all right? We've seen with um, 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 Kalusha Bialo, a local coach won the AFCO, all right? So why can't we bring uh, 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 our local, Peter has proven himself that he's, he's a good coach, all right? not only here at home, even continental, all right? So now, that's the argument. But at the same time, let's look what Hugo Bros has done. Hugo Bros, his argument was his head, uh, he doesn't want to talk words, and, uh, that probably may hurt, but that's not an excuse. The rules are saying, after a game, a coach must come and account. We have seen coaches here, Local coaches, you know, remember Tobejan made an, an interview to say, you know, football can kill you a real death. And he was not happy, but he had to do that interview. All coaches are doing an interview. I don't know what Hugo Bros did was to say, you know what, I don't care uh, who are they, what can they tell me? I don't come to, to, to the press conference and address them. Remember, it's not about the media. For him to address us is addressing the nation, all right? Because we want questions. The media are there to give us the news. The, the media are there to uh, transmit the news to us. So now, if a coach says, I'm angry, no comment, and all that, and all that, you know what? It's really, really, really bothering. It's really, really bothering. But let me go back and a few years back, Sklima Chavalala was fired for uh, clapping Sailema. 
all right? And then he was relieved from his job. Now, this guy never came to the press conference. Should Safa condone this or should they take action against Hugo Bros? This could be the opportunity of ensuring that they bring a bit of back. Now, you have your own argument. Remember football, it's a game of opinion, all right? We all have opinion. You know, I like, um, uh, you know, as much as I don't like what Junior Kanye is doing towards Arthur Zwane, uh, you know, by always lambasting Kaiser Chiefs and Arthur Zwane. But it's his opinion, you know? So we cannot suppress him for, for, for expressing his opinion. And I like the way Arthur dealt with the matter and said that is his opinion, he's entitled to it. So we need to agree that people have different opinions. Football is a game of opinion. So I don't know. I want to hear you. What's your take? What do you think? Should this action of Hugo Bros be left unattended? Okay. What's your take about Bafana Bafana? Do you think uh, it looks like we're not going to qualify again? All right. Are we supposed to go this way? Now look at this. Liberia, according to the ranking, they're at 151. At a lower rank than Lesotho. All right. Not to say the Sudo a weak team, but at the lower rank than the Sudo. You have South Africa with so much resources. Liberia don't have much resources compared to us. And then we are at 60s, 67 or so. <coughs> Sorry. Now, if we are beaten by a team which is lowly ranked, because this 2-2 two -two draw, it's a loss to us because it's a draw locally, all right? These guys came here to play us, and then they drew with us here. So to us, it's a draw. It's a loss because this is a game that we should have won, all right? So I don't know what to take. So that's my opinion. I don't know what to take, uh, but we have, we have opinion. We have different opinions. So maybe you guys have a better understanding. Uh, what do you think? Should we keep quiet and allow this thing to happen just like it has just happened? I don't know. Some of the people, they said, uh, this is I got on Marawa's um, Facebook page. Uh, although I did listen to the interview, but this one, I got it, where he said, there's no, there is so much disappointed. There's much anger in me. And this, uh, that if I say what I want, I want it, it won't be nice. We had opportunities to win this game. Uh, there was moments. Uh, there was a moment uh, with Salim, but that one of Salim, I didn't see it in that interview that I listened with Lorenzo. I didn't see that one, uh, but maybe others saw it, I don't know. And the first half, we should have uh, won the game. And then uh, even there, if that is the case, if it's true, he isolated Salim. You know what I've seen recently? Ateta talking to the players, you know, he was very angry, very angry, you know, throwing ten traps in the dressing room. But when they ask them questions in public, they don't isolate players, they protect the players, all right? This is what should be done. You need to protect the players. You need to protect, protect the players at all times. There is no way, even if how angry you are with a particular player, you don't have to go out there and isolate a player. If this is true, all right, I want to repeat that. And let me just say it again. As I say, you don't even have Saddam. He told me that uh, they have load shedding. This is the group that he organized that were going to the game. And then these are the group from Tembisa. There was a bus taking the people from Tembisa. But I think uh, uh, Safa, they should look themselves in the mirror now. Because look at it this way, you know, you have... Um, <clears throat> You know, we had these tickets for free, but people are not willing to come and buy them. You know, so for me, hey, gee, was I said, no, this is uncalled for. It means uh, people, they don't, uh, Bafana Bafana is not appealing anymore. So those are some of the things that uh, um, I'm sure they should look in the mirror, which is a uh, uh, Safa and, and, and start talking about this thing. Why? Why all these things happen? To uh, why? Why all these things happen? Um, let's see now. I want to share something quickly. Uh, I want to move on uh, with the show. 
because uh, we cannot dwell on that one. I'm sure you are aware of the fact, I hope you see this one, of the fact that um, Man United is on sale now. We are told, we were told that Sir, uh, Sir Reef, I mean, Sir, uh, Sir Jim Ratliff, together with Sheikh Jassim, they were the leading bidders, all right? But as late as yesterday, the news that I picked up was only Sir, Sir Jim Ratliff has put his bidding. And then apparently both bidders requested extra time. But apparently Sir Jim Ratliff has already submitted his bidding. And then uh, Sheikh, not yet. And then apparently things have gone quiet from their side. So people are not sure what's happening. But the difference is Sir Jim Ratliff, his money that he has, which he's going to use to buy Man United, He's got his money and also he borrowed money. He's gonna use a debt to buy Man United, all right? That is why I always tell people that the debt is new money. But with the Qatarians, they have that money. They're not going to borrow anyone, their money is free. So apparently they are prepared. Remember, it's not only about buying Man United. After buying Man United, you must also, as the person who is the new owner, revamp the stadium, invest the money in terms of new players there's a lot of money they are estimating that whoever bought it will spend one million one billion pounds extra one to two billion pounds extra to make sure that man united becomes the powerhouse now remember this say it will be the biggest sale ever after uh, you know the first sale uh, of uh, Manchester United, which was uh, three three point three point three point seven five billion euros, so this one apparently is going to be the biggest uh, sale. No, no, no. I think Chelsea was two point five uh, billion uh, euros, but Man United is it is alleged that they are worth 3.7 uh, billion euros, all right? So whoever buy this, uh, it could be the biggest buying. So we'll watch the space and see who's gonna buy Man United. And then, uh, yeah, so, you know, it's, it's a matter of wait and see, all right? And then uh, we'll watch and see uh, who's gonna finally uh, buy the, the, the Man United. Now, let me move on now to um, the Messi special. Uh, as usual, I always give you the Messi special, give you the news about Messi. Remember, uh, they've just played uh, friendly and they were celebrating what they did. And Messi scored a very beautiful free kick. And then uh, um, for, 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 for uh, the Argentinians, uh, and then it was a very nice event. You could see how happy they were. And then all the people there at, at the stadium. And then everybody was allowed to bring their children uh, for that matter. Now, this is the 800th goal that Messi has scored. And then it was a beautiful free kick. And then uh, I saw the game. He tried a few of them free kicks. He missed them. And then finally, this one was caught towards the end. Now, uh, let's look at Lionel Messi, his wife, for PSG. All right. Now, I got this from Leo Legend Messi uh, on social media. Now, Mbappe's purchase was 180 and uh, with bonuses, 150. So the, oh, the amount spent on Messi, the total cost on Mbappe is 330. And Hakim, uh, 60 mil, uh, million euros, and then uh, Vatina, uh, 40 million euros. Nuno Mendes, uh, no, no, Hakimi is, I mean, Vatina is 41, and Nuno Mendes is 40 uh, euros. Messi, they got him for free. But let's see what he has brought to them. All right? Messi's t shirt with Messi's name and Messi's number sold 40% plus of the PSG t-shirts. So that's revenue that went to 
PSG, all right? In terms of following, ever since they've signed Messi, PSG added 30 million plus followers across social media platforms, all right? Not only that, their association with Messi attracted big brands such as Otto Hero, uh, Goat, Smart Good Things, uh, Gorillas, etc. All right, that's the money that um, you know came uh, to PSG. You know, and then uh, ever since Messi joined them. Now, but guess what? Um, they've just got out of the Champions League. We know about that one, but who's to blame? Lionel Messi. But let's watch very close. Who costs? Who cost the opposite goal uh, in that game of the Champions? It was Verratti. All right. Who missed an open opportunity? It was Vettina. All right. Who, you know, gave like Lexter performance? It was Mbappe, Donnarumma, Verratti, and Vettina. And then, but who to blame? Lionel Messi, all right? And now we know that um, according to the reports, the ultra uh, fans of PSG, they are targeting Messi, all right? So we hear the rumors that Messi is definitely going to leave. And then uh, he's, he's thinking of now uh, going back and join uh, um, Barcelona. Um, well, Laporta has spoken about that to say they love to have Messi, uh, but they, there's a lot of work that needs to be done, uh, especially on the issue of uh, the relationship. The relationship that has been hampered, it has to be sorted out. Um, yeah, we know what happened. And Messi has been promised that, you know, we are going to keep you and all that. But the manner he left, and even uh, Laporta, Laporta won the 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 the, 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 the presidential vote due to Messi's influence, because Messi even went there and and voted for him. But all of a sudden, he was very angry the way things unfolded. Uh, but Laporta apparently has acknowledged that he did that, uh, regrettably, and then uh, but. You know he wants to amend that, so the relationship has to be amended. We we know, according to reports from Spain, was um, he, uh, Laporta and 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 Jorge Messi, which is Messi's father. They met and discussed. That was in uh, um, in, um, uh, in in February. So we'll see how things are going to pan out. Now let me move on quickly and say uh, this coming Tuesday. Um, I will be on the Sadia FM, all right, at 22.05, which is 10, which is 5 past 10 in the evening, up to half past 10, discussing finance. Remember, a financial company, and we'll be discussing about the, the role of the ombudsman of the long-term insurance. Um, so stay tuned. Remember, our job as the big R is always to educate. So. It's an opportunity for you to listen and 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 learn. All right. And then thank you very much. I would like to thank you so much for all those people who are continuing to subscribe and those people who are watching the show. I can see the numbers are climbing in terms of the shows, which shows that uh, um, at least you guys are giving us support. And please continue to subscribe and continue to comment. And then uh, hopefully, uh, you know, will be able to give you a better product. And those who still want to buy Momo, or not to buy, remember you get it for free. Those who want to get Momo from us, remember we said Momo allows you to tell, to sell a time, to sell electricity, to uh, help people to uh, pay for their DSTV, bad ways, lottery, and so on. If you still want us to give you the opportunity to have that, um feel free to contact us just drop us a whatsapp you'll see our number at the end of the show i thank you very much and continue to support i thank you
Hello, everybody. My name is the Sobre Boys Wanafatsi from a TBR Solution. TBR Solution is a financial company that helps people to be financially savvy. I'm sure these days you are aware that prices are very up in terms of petrol, in terms of goods and services, prices are very, very high. Now, these days, we are on a campaign to help those members of GPF or government employees, especially if you are 55 years old or above, and you are contemplating to resign or go on pension in three months time, give us a call or drop us a WhatsApp, then we'll call you back so that we help you to get your money expeditiously, you know, as compared to sometimes people get their money after a long time. We will then transfer your money from GPF to Alan Gray, whom we have a relationship with. And the good news is, once the money has been transferred, you will choose how much you want to earn. If you happen to pass on, your spouse will also get the same amount. Then if it happens that both of you passes on, you would have appointed or selected uh, beneficiaries. It could either be your children or anyone else. And there's nothing like age limit that they must be 22 or below. Even if they're above 22, they'll be able to get the, 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 the inheritance from you. So that's how flexible it is. And then um, I know that sometimes people, they worry about medical aid and all that. We also have with other partners who assist you to get a medical aid. So if you want to learn more and get more information pertaining to that, just drop us a WhatsApp. We'll therefore come back to you. I thank you.